Well, it's it's weird. It's breaking in the middle. It's not supposed to break in the middle. The guys that manufacture these, they said that they'll break at the end every time. And that's two in a row that didn't break at the end. So that's really odd. It broke right where it was supposed to break. So we're, this is a polyester strap, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put another nylon in there. We're gonna shock load it just like Donnie did on the last one. We'll see if it breaks at the same spot. That's what we want. We want it to break at the end and then we wanna capture it in the center. It, it did catch the strap, but the strap had so much energy it took the whole five-pound sandbag and made it into a made it into a, it into a ballistic missile. So that's not that doesn't work. So so we'll scratch that one and we'll move on to the next prototype. Where's sand? So what it is, it's a two-inch nylon strap, and we're gonna feed that strap through this eye and through this eye on each end. And I'm hoping when that strap fails, this piece is gonna come forward. So the strap's gonna to have to go through here, come back through, and back through around through here. I'm hoping we're gonna capture the strap. That's incredible. Looks like back to the drawing board, because that didn't work at all. Because the strap made it all the way through all of this stuff without getting captured. That's a 10 pound sandbag. It weighs 10 pounds and it came back like it was a feather. Unbelievable. I didn't know how much force there was in these straps. This is only a, this is only a two inch strap. It's guaranteed to fail between 16 and 19,000 pounds. And a 10 pound bag of sand is just going, it's not stopping it at all. I, I can't believe it. It's incredible. We just tried a little one inch, 8,000 pound strap. We have a main strap that was from this pin to this pin was a main strap. And we had a little anchor strap sewed to it right here. So when this main strap would break, this one would capture the main strap from going and it worked. It stopped it from going anywhere. So that's the answer. I think we just solved the problem and I'm happy. Good job. Unlike the first, the first test went perfectly. This one obviously did not. So I think it's still gonna work, but we're gonna have to put one, probably two, two or three, two or three stitched squares. Like right here, we've got a, we've got a one inch by half inch cross. If we do 
one, two, three of them, I think. And then we're gonna have to do some more testing another day, but we're gonna do another couple here and see how it goes. But I think we're nearing a solution to the problem. That was brutal, man. Look at that, it melted the rubber. There's so much force in there, it's unbelievable. I can't believe how much force there is. Unbelievable, 8, 000, it's only an 8,000 pound strap and it took that little five pound bag of sand and threw it, threw it 30 feet against the tractor window. So that will show you just right there how dangerous these straps are when they fail you know, out in the field. No wonder they're wiping out tailgates and grills and headlights and whoever, whoever else is in the way. And we'll go through a windshield but it sure spanks a grill, it'll knock a chunk out of a grill for sure. But anyways. Next time you hear from us, we're going to have a solution for this, I think. We'll be back out next weekend, hopefully, if it's nice enough out, and do it again. And hopefully we'll have her licked. But obviously, everything that we did today, total fail, total fail, total write-off. But we're, we're getting closer to a solution. We're going we're gonna to win this war. We always do.